Hey there, it's Monkey. We're doing some State of Decay 2 Update 33 playthrough. Uh, we're, the map is Drucker County. We're doing Nightmare Nightmare Lethal for the difficulty. Uh, if you have any questions or feedback or, or suggestions or whatever, please feel free to leave them down below. Uh, I did do a, a previous video talking about some tips and resources for rolling characters, particularly for update 33. These are not the exact same survivors that I had at the end of that video, but I, I tried to keep the same fifth skills. Uh, chemistry and sewing are the same, but I landed on hygiene before I got to recycling. I actually like recycling, and and uh, but we'll we'll get more into that shortly. We're actually burning daylight right now, so let's uh, let's just get the game going. Okay. Um, great. You could sure use like a home or something. Uh, I'll give you know suggestions and stuff as I'm going through playing things. Uh, my first, you know, uh, obviously the first thing is always check your check your trunk there, um, and then make your way to your to the safe house and whatnot. There's a screamer over there. Uh, sometimes there's a another dude, you know, um, feral hanging out. Oops. But we're going to sneak up on this screamer and take him out now. Not necessarily because it's a huge threat, but it's a little bit of influence. And gets him out of the way. We got to come back and get this car with, with a, a gas can at some point anyway. I got a rest. Man. Uh, I don't really want to mess with a bloater right now. I don't... I've got friends with me who probably don't know how to run away very well. But we're just going to sneak by that guy. Alright, that should be good enough. We're going to be, once we get this house claimed, Better get to work. No time like the present. and, uh, and, yeah. Once we get this claim, uh, house hall kind of cleaned up and claimed, then we'll look at Dealing with the getting some outposts on the other side. Okay, I don't see anything else down here. We gotta go up. Oh, I do hear something though. Not up here. There's still more of them. Alright. Outside. Zombies coming in all over. Time for you to die. Okay. All that's left to do is claim this place, and it'll be ours. Oh yeah, that's cool, yeah. <laughs> Our first priority has to be gathering material. All right. We'll need them to improve this place. Mats. Haven't seen much of it yet. Projects Where? coming along. Just need a little more time. That's great. I'm finished here. Ready for the next job. All right. We are going to get that. Oh, here you go. It's another delivery. One of the things you want to start doing right away is if you look under your active effects, you've got a 500% build action speed uh, from when you first claim your base. So you want to take advantage of that really quickly to kind of get things going. Um, I'm going to get an infirmary up. I'm glad we've already got a start on building this base. I'm not going to worry about the master bedroom. Um, we don't have enough for... We do have enough for a rain collector. That's going to run us completely out of mats. Um, we'll, we'll wait for a minute on that. I want to probably get some more mats, but while we're doing that, we can... We can clear that trash out. That'll be quick. Um... 
There's a group, obviously, they're going to want the plague cure. But before we do that, we're going to really quickly... Okay, I'm heading out for a bit. This should be... Well, we're going to check We're gonna check this shed right here for some mats, but there's a, a, an ammo uh, site right across the way down there. Uh, potentially an ammo outpost. We're going to... Looks like we can breathe easy for yeah. a bit. This is great progress for our base. Yeah, that's a nice Great. One. Matt's already. Okay. More of the same. Okay, just take it easy. I'm getting sloppy here. So we're going to check across the way for uh, a gun, basically, from that ammo outpost. Uh, get that set up so that we have some ammo rolling in for when we go to, to do to do traps. Uh, also, there's a, a mats outpost over here. We're going to want to either, especially since we don't have recycling, we're going to want to claim that one. And then probably a food outpost, either this barn or, well, they're living in the barn, so I guess not that. Or um, the food outpost that's nearby. Um, get these dumped in. Oops. All right. We are up to seven. That's better. So we can get this rolling with some water. We'll need 12 to unlock, to upgrade the command center that'll give us a, an extra outpost I, I I take a lot of damage probably from fighting otherwise I would consider uh, I would consider not even building the infirmary right away and just getting enough mats to upgrade the uh, to upgrade the command center instead all right so we will get rid of the well actually just going to use one of those right now. And we'll swap those out for painkillers. And we're going to run. Let's see. First things first. Let's just double check our. We have enough influence to take over an outpost. We're going to run down to this gun shop down here. Not gonna, not gonna grab that one yet. Great. Well, it's not preluded. Um, so, like I said, we're we're rolling on nightmare, nightmare, lethal for the difficulty. Uh, lethal is the the map difficulty, so that means that there are uh, more plague hearts, like the max plague hearts you could get, and then uh, some of these buildings might wind up being like preluded, which is unfortunate. Just sort of the challenge level that I'm interested in playing. Nobody here but us. All right, we're gonna claim this one already, just to get, like I said, just to make sure we get the ammo rolling in. Another outpost secure. We're in business. And we can now fast search everything. Hopefully, we'll get a gun out of here. No place to put it. Oh, that's all right. Oh, what is that? Shotgun. All right. Well, it's better than nothing. Um, we'll put those away. Yeah, put those away for now too. Um, Time to move on. Hmm. All right, we got a bag of bullets. Uh, we can finish grabbing all this stuff out of here. Nice. All right. All right, well, we got to carry the, the bullets with us. Uh, a can of 
fuel would be pretty good, but the other thing we're going to do um, is all these buildings around us are also not looted. So, except for the espresso stand, not a big deal. But a can of fuel to get our Moraga back online would be good. Uh, I'm going to check this shed here real quick. Doesn't look. That was close. Sometimes I'll beeline for the filling station because there's definitely guaranteed to be gas there, but I thought I would hit this up first. Campsite. Now that place might make a decent outpost. All right. Infected stuff across the way, and I'm not sure. There it is. No, nope, that's not the last one either. Hmm. Maybe that house that's like right behind there that I can't really pinpoint. We'll go with it being that house over there. All right. <sighs> Doing a lot of fast looting early on because things aren't as um, threatening. And also, if I really need to, I could turn on... I want to make sure I looted everything over here. Seems like there's not much yeah. left. Uh, I could always turn on traps. And, and chances are I will turn on traps for this thing and just sort of fast loot the rest of everything else that's around there. But uh, let's see. We've got a vehicle over fast. here. Can't let it get the jump on me. Oh. Yeah. Well, let's see how this goes. We need 50 parts and two ammo, so we don't have enough to get that rolling in right now anyway. Oof. Until we get this back to our base. Solid. All right, we're gonna hit this gas station. I can't let that screamer get close. Like, I don't even know where it is.
There we go. There's your gas can. I think we'll get two. Ooh. Solid. A couple cans of gas. Some chemicals. Oh, this one's empty. It's too bad. Alright. Well. Trying to look to see if there's any, um, there's a screamer over there. Looking to see if there's any, uh, blood plague infected ones. Want to try to start getting our hands on some samples, but... Screamer over there, too. Okay, well, with gas in here, we're going to swing over to the, um, outpost that I'm going to claim over here that has mats in it. Clean that up, get that claimed, and then head over to that little farm over there and see... See what these people need, which it's going to be blood plague samples. We know those already. Oops. No. Boy, more notes. It's all right. They're sellable. Cleared this one out. No. Uh, we do need more influence, so we're gonna have to. Yep, that's a keeper. Oh, great. That's useful. Um, speaking of, before I finish running out of that 500, oh, maybe I already ran out of it. Um, we don't have enough yet. We're just gonna repair this one right now because that doesn't that just takes up some people and some time. Uh, we'll turn on water. Just a little boost for morale. Anything, anything else right now? I think that's everything. Ooh, more mats. Sweet. That in the back. Get the other thing of mats. Okay, um, new plan, because we need some influence. We want to 
Also, it'd be nice, since we're here, if we can try to get a, uh, a fuel rucksack out of here, just to get some fuel in our base. Okay. I don't think it's going to happen. I think it would have happened outside, but... More mats, jeez. This is just going to be conceivably food in here. Alright. Oh yeah, that's right. You can check this little guy right here. Oh man, this guy just showed up out of nowhere. <laughs> so did this guy. Alright. Well, no fuel rock, unfortunate. But we do have lots of mats. Making sure I don't have any large groups coming at me. All right. Well, we're gonna we're gonna stop. Oops. We're gonna stop doing this upgrade right here or this repair. We don't need that right now. Um, we've got. We're gonna need for a workshop. We're gonna need six mats. Okay. I think we've got enough. We can. Store all these in here. Take those to base. And then we're gonna go grab the things out that we need to uh, we need to trade people. But I really want to get this command center up. That'll give us another outpost. Um, then we'll actually have enough for a workshop. Yeah. We'll be able to get a workshop going, and uh, then we can get a food outpost and a uh, and a mats outpost. All right, get some luxury goods and whatever other stuff we can. See, I don't see myself using that one. We'll go sell that AP round for now. It's probably not worth a lot. I don't remember how much it's worth, but... Alright, we are going to go over here. Oh my gosh. Catching on all kinds of... All kinds of things. You been well? The safest way to collect samples is by killing plague zombies. The best place to find them is in the territory around a plague heart. Mats. Go figure. Look, a shotgun. Those things basically infect the whole environment. It's 
Eight. Yeah, not terrible. Or you could just destroy the play card itself to get a bunch of samples. That's more dangerous. This won't be easy, so you should bring the best equipment you have on hand. Helping out like this is a good way to make friends. Two plague samples. Let's hope this pays off. We could use allies out here. Well, so far we have some ideas. What's this over here? Oh, I see. Right, right. Hmm. All right, well, that did not give us enough. We need 300 to claim another outpost. So what we're going to do is, while we're right next to here, we're going to try to loot out some other items. That we can sell. Cleared this one out. There we go. Might actually give us enough here. With the amount of mats we have, we may not even really need. Oops, uh, see you when it's I not see the right, you. not the right person. I got some stuff to trade. Sure. <laughs> All right. Uh, with enough parts, we could put ourselves over the top. But let me see what our parts count is. We don't. We're not at fifty parts yet. Um. I'd like enough parts to be able to trigger traps if I need to. Uh, so we're not going to give up those parts. Um, I guess I could sell these bottles a week. Painkillers. Want to trade? Sure. All right. So that'll give us enough to claim... Uh, a food outpost, because really, if if we're looking at look at our base here, we're losing four and a quarter food a day, two meds a day, also not great. <clears throat> uh, we're not really losing any mats right now. We, I, I would like more mats. I'd like some mats income. So, but it's between getting for our third outpost, eventually getting uh, getting meds or getting mats right now. I'm going to, again, since I'm here and since I've got allies nearby, I'm going to go ahead and loot out this building here. I also feel a little, a little safer since I've got a shotgun. Deadheads here. All right. Okay, better meds. <gasps> Ooh, man, they're really feeding me the shotgun ammo, too, so. Oh, good. Energy drinks are good. I think that's everything. Smells like I just wandered into plague territory. Gotta be a heart around here and plenty of plague zombies too. I won't be doing any fast searching in this area. I, I do sort of wish I had a crossbow. Um, it'd be easier for getting plague samples.
we got for room. I only got one slot left here. Take out the nearest plague heart. This should clear up. zombies around here. I can see their eyeballs. Alright. I'm not going to linger in here right now. I've got other things to do. I've got an outpost to claim. I'm on my last legs here. Um, save the first aid kit for now, save these other items for now as well, and the rest is going to get dumped back into base. Um, let's see. That's the last one. That's not what I want to do. <laughs> oh, that, good job there, Doug. Uh, let's see. I was looking to see, I didn't, all these little, clear all these little things out here. There we go. Alright. Okay, we're just going to swing by the little... There's a campsite over here. Man, a couple bloaters right there, too. Uh, we're going to swing by this little campsite, see if we can get a... Yeah, there's the bloaters. See if we can get a crossbow out of that deal. All right, we're sitting at uh, 300, so we have the ability to claim one outpost, and I think it's going to be this one for now. Hopefully, we'll get us um, some food rucks here, and then we'll solve our food issues. But this will get us mats. This will also protect our northern border uh, if we wake up a heart that's the other reason for for doing that okay, I don't need any of that stuff oh. 
Oh, good. Finally, a heavy weapon. That's what we needed. That will be setting aside for... for hearts. Um, yeah. Took those guys down. Be fast, but there we go. Me. Oh, another one. All right, well, I don't want him to buy the bloater. Oh. There we go. Woo. Oh, also took out that uh, screamer. Good job. Okay. So, since we're here and we've got ammo, we're going to activate traps. No, we're not. We don't have parts yet. Enough parts. Um... All right, well, we're going to find parts. Do it the easy way. Right, hold on. Oh, I don't have a... There we go. Get that going. All right, we'll get over here and clear this food stand. That sounds like an armored Zed. Yep. Gonna be more seeds here, but hopefully. I think they heard that. Here we go. Yeah. That's a nice and some food. Great. Oh, well, this guy's getting tired, so we're gonna run him back to base. That is definitely not what I need right now. All right, hold on. <laughs> okay, is he leaving? All right, whoo. Man, I don't mind a good fight, but I do not need a plague jug at my base right now. We didn't get any new... There's no backpacks we found yet. There's still another campsite we can check that we spotted from the cell tower. 
Um, but he's tired, so we're going to switch. It really doesn't matter who I switch to at this point. All right. Uh, workshop's almost done. When we get the workshop done, that'll give us... We finally got up to our 50 parts. Uh, but the workshop will give us our uh, ability to break down um, some other things for parts as well. Um, we could do... Well, we don't have any of those. We don't have any, like, uh, breakdown, breakdownable, like, guns or whatever anyway. We could do some salvaging on these items if we need to. But since we already have all the parts we need to get our traps running, I guess we can just do it that way. What I intend on doing is... I don't really like that jug there. I was going to activate traps on the gun shop, which will keep everything, you know, dead or in the vicinity of the gun shop. And then I will just go through and sweep up all the loot in all those all those areas. I can just fast loot everything up. Um, that'll give me some more supplies, hopefully some more food. That's a, a, a tartan mart right there. Um, that'll hopefully give me some more just general supplies, things I could trade for more influence and whatnot. With this jug here, I'm probably going to have to lead him down to that gun shop anyway just to get rid of him. Uh, the other option is I could activate it on... The food, the fruit stand. I could take over the fruit stand uh, as an outpost uh, if I had enough influence, which I don't, uh, and activate it on the fruit stand. That would also help me deal with the jug. But at this point, I think it's just going to be the the gun shop. It's not really the ideal place that I want to uh, set up traps on. I'd rather use them uh, if I woke up, you know, a play cart down down one of these roads. I'd rather be doing it on this fruit stand here or this. Uh, this outpost up here, this is a really good block for any play cards for the north. But we'll throw it on here. We already have, we're already doing okay for ammo. Um, we're at six, which isn't the best, but, you know, we're getting plus one a day. So blowing a couple on getting this looted isn't going to hurt. Oh, yeah, but I do want to grab... Um, I don't necessarily anticipate there being trouble. But I want to grab that shotgun anyway. And I think we're fine. I think we're fine for other things. We'll just grab some painkillers. Top off our snacks. So, right now, these will, uh, for, there's no fuel cost right now because we have somebody with chemistry. That's one of the main reasons why that's kind of one of my prime picks for starting off a community because eliminating the fuel cost is pretty huge early on, particularly since we don't have any fuel. Um, you know, I guess I could do a fuel outpost that would help in that regard as well. But like I said, I'm kind of more after mats, mats right now. Um, we'll try to solve the fuel, you know, when we can. But for an hour and a half, we will have, we'll have traps on there. So now if we look at it, let's be grayed out. Our parts is gone, but it's got an hour and a half on it. Once we get our chemist upgraded to munitions, when she gets one more skill level, um, she will be able to take munitions, which will actually double the timer to three hours. So uh, it's going to be pretty, pretty solid. All right, let's find... Let's find that big dude and get him the heck out of here. He's coming from somewhere. Oh, that guy's coming from somewhere too. Here we go. Woo! 
Come on down. No, you're not. It's not quite down here yet. There. Okay. Look at that. Two plague samples. I'm glad to hear it. All right. So while we've got traps going on here. Uh, we'll wait till daylight and run those over in the daylight, but, oops, we'll just loot all this stuff out. That'll give us some more things to sell. I'm not worried about, as long as I'm inside the, the protective circle of my outpost here. I'm not really worried about triggering anything. Oh, sweet meds. Way too loud. Um, deposit those for now, but we'll, we'll need to make sure we grab them. Oops. I'm gonna park this over here because that'll put it close to close to us if we get any more rocks. Alright, this is gonna be the dicier one just because it's right on the edge. Looks like this place is worth searching. Mm, I like that. Crap. Great. What I don't want to do is get tackled by a burning zombie. So. I would like some more plague samples. I need a break. And I'm leading this one in there just. Yeah. Okay. Just trying to see if maybe there's maybe a better chance of getting getting what I need. By, by getting them blown up in the thing. Sorry, I'm like... I'm trying to listen and talk at the same time. It doesn't always work. Already killing me. Fuck, that's gonna bring trouble. Oh, there we go. No room for that. Right. <laughs> Holy crap. I have my flashlight. There we go. I gotta catch my breath. <laughs> I turned off my flashlight instead of attacking. It was not not so good. All right. I have to drop stuff off my car. I'm gonna play a little bit safer. I'm 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 a little bit I'm a little bit excited here. I think. Um, food storage. Mm. I'm to be honest. I might sell that, but. We definitely need electronics. We definitely don't have a lot of room for anything at this point, but that's all right. Well, oops, hold on, I forgot. That, that's fine, we can leave that there. We're just gonna dump stuff in our outpost right now. Way too loud. Hmm. 
I mean, our food storage right now is... Well, it doesn't matter. I mean, our food's pretty low, so... Um, while I have time going on for that, um, yeah, there's no nothing I can salvage yet. Not worried about crafting any explosives. Okay, so we're back to back to empty. Okay, let's. I can still fast search, but you know, don't don't turn off your flashlight when you're being attacked by Zeds in a dark room. Boss, that's gonna bring trouble. All right. I got a few slots left. Is a lot to carry. Good. As long as you keep stacking up, it's fine. Smoke grenade's good. Some cover. Take this place clean. Parts, um, those seven six two. That's not a bad, not a bad rifle. Which reminds me, twenty two cal. Okay, still do not have a a silencer. Would be nice. Obviously, a crossbow would be nice. Um, not entirely sure why I held on to that. Smoke grenade. That's definitely something I'm not going to be using unless I'm uh, attacking a heart. Looks like we're in the clear. Yeah. Oh, hell. Hey. Yeah. All right. There is one other. Thing in the circle over here, and that's this site. Maybe we can get some mats out of here. Well, parts. There we go. Okay. Uh, everything in this area, other than maybe like a rogue vehicle um, here or there. Pretty much, pretty much pick clean. I do see some screamers sort of back on the way to our base. Not super fond of that right now, but. No, we've got to drop stuff off anyway, so I guess I'm going up here. Let them, let them do their screaming. Pulled a whole bunch over there, didn't they? Shit, that's a feral. Better stay alert. <laughs> All right, I'm not going to be swapping backpacks. I mean, I'm, I'm at like six or seven, depending on who's doing it, but he's. A little bit banged up, so we're going to swap him out. Okay. 
Could have probably stuck a gun in his hand for uh, defensive purposes, but I think I'm, go I'm going with we're going to be all right for now. Got those. Probably going to sell off our bandages. We'll just switch to using painkillers for everything. <clears throat> we do have some energy drinks, but I'm still, I don't have enough yet to feel comfortable rolling with them all the time. And we're not, we're not going after a heart just yet. Smokes, uh, canning station. <clears throat> I think I'd rather I'll take that with me to sell. Um, a gardening book. I don't need that either. I'm just going to be doing food outposts for my food. Um, not going to sell that one either. Okay, we'll hang on to the med kit in case we need a full heal for something something significant. We definitely need the, uh, all of these other things for the most part. Once we start getting more weapons, more melee weapons, we'll look at selling some off. But uh, we've got... Should have enough stuff here. Gonna line up a shot. There we go. Oh, shit, another one. Alright, well. I didn't want to do that with my hood, but that's sort of what happened. We have all these we have all these houses up above and stuff too that we're gonna get around to looting as well. We'll do that during the day. Um I kind of like to clear out the area around my base. Um, there's something to be said for... Oh, jeez, man, another one. All right, well, we're not going to deal with that guy yet. Let's make sure I don't lead him back. With these plague samples... I can make something that'll cure blood plague if one of us... Oh, good. All right. Mechanic. Thanks, you rock. Nothing. Political science. Okay. Let's see what's up for trade, eh? Why not? Uh, they gave us gas. That's good. We sell them those. Uh, they're out, uh, actually, of stuff, unless we want to buy something. Is anyone on Plague Heart detail? You got it. Okay. Yeah, I don't think I have enough for... Yes, about well, plague hard detail made me made me concerned. What's up? Let's see what's up for trade, eh? Okay. Um, actually, I'd. I guess I, I guess I have enough. I think we have enough to claim another outpost, and um, still scraps twenty mats. Should probably get somebody working on that thing. Um, yeah, so what's going to happen is, especially because we need to stem the, stem the loss of food we're suffering here, so we're going to claim this food outpost down here, and then we're going to clear out the rest of these buildings. Hey, how's life treating you? But we'll buy these mats, and then we'll sell... Guess we'll go that route. We'll keep the canning station for now. That's sort of maybe something that we can 
Uh, it's a high value item we can kind of keep in our back pocket for now. Um, pick up the pace, buddy. Jeez, <laughs> that was, I meant to hit him with my trunk once. I did, uh, I did not aim well, apparently. You can beat those guys up all day with your trunk, but, um... Taking an awfully long time, though, for them to get in there. Oh, I think I see more. There might be more samples over there by that by that uh, building. There we go. Get rid of that guy. Just kind of get these guys out of the way here. No, it's just just candy wrappers. These aren't plague samples. All right. Yeah, we'll claim this one right here. I don't see anything good. This outpost is now up and running. But with a bit more effort, this place could really help us out. All right, we're just going to dump some of this extra stuff here, and then we can... She had a neat slot backpack, too. All right. Uh, we do need more gas in that vehicle, but that's all right. We're going to... This area's already been pre-looted. Sometimes these, yeah... These guys right here uh, will have like a lot of a lot of parts or something in them. There we go, parts and electronics. Nice. Too loud. Danger now. There. Not bad. Oh, I see. I mean, I don't really see. I don't really know what he wants me to do, but... Okay, we're zombie free. Well, that's one way to start a party. Look at this. Nice. There we go. there's anything left to find. Oops. All I want to do there? There we go. Okay. 
Okay. Full on meds. Well, we're full of rocks. Sorry, we're not full on meds. So we can go and uh, drop those back at base real quick. And then we're going to loot these other houses that are up above here just to get, again, just to get some more items out of there. Um, then I guess we'll see if Tristan's ready to take over and do his do his mission or what. Two wits. Not a lot. Not a lot of wits. Yeah, there's only three. Do that to try to clear them out. Oh, one firecracker. <laughs> Backpack I can sell, I guess. is officially searched. Wow. It's not as good as I thought it was going to be there. Can't let it get back up. Can't catch my breath. Well, we'll get to our car and clear them out that way. Right, buddies. <laughs> there we go. All right, line it up. better. Okay. 
Sometimes there's a truck over here that has a lootable trunk. Ah, just parts. I was hoping for a toolkit. gonna secure this place first and then we'll and then we'll quick loot everything no more zombies here Things that won't stack, or that aren't likely to stack. Yay! No zombies here. Oh good, another smoke grenade. Hmm. Not empty. Well, finders keepers. I think that must have been when I drew the attention of those um, screamers before. It Whatever zombies were in here must have come on, uh, come on out. Ah, computers textbook. Oh, that's nice. Uh, we will want somebody with computers at some point because two two reasons. This is seriously too heavy. Upgrading our base to our command center to level three, and getting programming on them so we can do uh, drones. Okay, well. Man, there's so much in here. I wish I had room for okay. it. Don't have any more room for that. Uh, none of these things out here are stackable, so we'll just take this, drop the stuff at home, and then run back and grab the, the last three or four things that are there. Okay. Man, I must have had a really lucky shot on the, uh... <laughs> on that screamer last time. I thought the... I thought the nice, uh, shotgun spread there would... You know, would drop him in a couple shots, and it didn't do it. Okay. Crossbow bolts to go with my non-existent crossbow. Okay, we're zombie-free. for the search. All right. Lots of good stuff out of there. Yeah. All right, let's get back to it. We'll get back to our base and we'll kind of see where we're at here. Here's where we stand. 
Um, so far, we didn't get this group killed. That's nice to know. Uh, we haven't awakened any hearts yet, which is which is also good. Um, kind of crazy, but also good. Uh, base wise, uh, we're we're doing okay for for mats. We've got that materials income. This is where uh, you know I talked about fifth skills, and we took um, hygiene instead of recycling, for example. Recycling would be really sweet because the extra plus two mats per day is like a, a level two materials outpost. It really would give you the option to not do a materials outpost and just do meds or food or something along those lines. Um, we Because of our food outpost, we're only losing two and a quarter food a day. That's still a pretty hefty loss. So we're going to look at either, uh, at some point we're probably going to we may, not up, we may not upgrade this food outpost, but at some point we're going to need more food. So it's going to be either shifting, once we st sort of feel solid with materials, it'll be shifting from materials maybe over to a food outpost or something along those lines. We're going to be keeping the ammo outpost for the foreseeable future right now. Uh, we're sitting on four ammo. It takes us two to activate traps on something, but that gets us... Basically, if you have one ammo outpost uh, and you are and you don't have munitions, you can keep traps activated on one outpost, like, indefinitely. Uh, we don't necessarily want to be doing that until we start getting into fights with, with, uh, with Plague Hearts, and then we're going to be using the outpost to sort of uh, pr protect against the infestations and stuff like that. But, but that'll be to come. Uh... I think that's gonna that's gonna wrap it up for this episode. Our next episode, since we've cleared out pretty much everything in this vicinity, uh, we've already, like I said, we've already made friends with those people. Our next episode is going to be either digging down into this area. I can see there's a there's definitely a plague heart in this direction, uh, so we may dig down into there to 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 deal with that, or we may go up against. Uh, this area up here, which there's probably three or four play cards. I mean, I can tell if you look here, this is already, you know, uh, controlled by a play card way over here. This is controlled by a play You are, we, we know there's going to be like three or four play cards up in here. And probably once we start attacking one or once we kill one, it'll waken the other ones as well. But that's how we get more plague samples to get more cures. Um, and that's how we, that's how we clear the map out. Uh, I feel like it's a pretty, uh, a pretty okay start so far. We got a pretty good amount of supplies. No crossbow, but uh, shotgun, lots of shotgun ammo. I'm not going to complain about that. Uh, I would like a silencer. I, I normally like to be a little more quiet uh, when I'm doing when I'm doing playthroughs. I, I like stealth. I like to put stealth on a bunch of my people. We could use more fire. Um, you know, I may also look at you know swapping to a, a fuel outpost. You know. Those are, you always need a ton of stuff in the beginning and you're always short on something. Um, but we'll, we'll dig into it more as we get into the next episode. Uh, once again, uh, thanks for hanging. If this uh, is enjoyable or you, you, you learned anything, uh, please help me out by tapping the like button or touch the monkey in the corner and subscribe. I really appreciate your support. I'll see you next time. Take care. Bye.